What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we're going to be touching base on the iOS 12 jailbreak. I want to keep you guys updated as we go through this. Uh, so we will get into the jailbreak here in just a little bit, but first I wanted to mention uh, iOS 12.1.4 is out. If you guys are still on iOS 12.1.3, 12.1.4, or even 12.2 beta, and you want to get on a jailbreakable firmware of iOS 12, you can still downgrade to 12.1.1 beta 3. If you guys need to see how to do that downgrade, I have a video, it's linked down in the description that'll show you guys how to do that downgrade. But anyways, like I said, 12.1.4 is out. It does fix the FaceTime bug that uh, was a huge problem. And we uh, I think we all know about it at this point. Uh, but one thing I wanted to mention, which is really cool about the iOS 12.1.4 update, is there is an actual bug that's in 12.1.3 that could possibly lead to a jailbreak for that version. So it would work from iOS 12.0 to 12.1.3. So these are the security contents of iOS 12.1.4. As you can see, this is the FaceTime bug, which Apple did fix finally. And if we keep scrolling down here, as you can see with IOKit, uh, as you guys can see right here, impact, an application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel priv privileges. And as you can see, this is actually an exploit that's from Ian Beer of Google Project Zero which has been known to release bugs in the past and actually contributed to the iOS 11 jailbreak. So this is another huge bug that was updated in iOS 12.1.4. And like I said, this bug will affect all of iOS 12 up to 12.1.3. So there's always the possibility that that could turn into something in the future for us jailbreakers. So I did want to cover that really quickly for you guys. Also, touching base with the rootless jailbreak um, jake james the developer of this jailbreak had some very interesting tweets earlier today i'm not sure if it's true or not or if he's being serious it's hard to tell uh, but as you can see someone asked him when will cydia question mark and then jake james says 29th of february 2019 and then also uh further up here let's see right here as you can see he replies to somebody else uh yo Aren't you excited for the 29th? If I were you, I would add it to the calendar. So I don't know if this is true or not, but he was hinting at Cydia being added the 29th of this month, which is crazy. That would be seriously cool if he's able to kind of gear this jailbreak towards a full-fledged jailbreak. But like I said, I can't really tell if he's being serious on Twitter or not, but still some cool news nonetheless. Uh, but anyways, getting into the rootless jailbreak for iOS 12, if you guys are curious about that. Um, and if you didn't know, there there is a jailbreak for iOS 12.0 through 12.1.2 out currently right now. This is a rootless jailbreak and what I would call a developer jailbreak. So if you're not a developer, I would recommend not trying to use this. Uh, I'm sure you could probably find some tutorials here on YouTube on how to install tweaks and stuff like that. But like I said, this is mainly a developer jailbreak. It will not install Cydia, and any tweaks you want to use, you will have to install them manually on your device. But I do want to show you guys how to get the rootless jailbreak really quickly. We'll do it through the Ignition application. If you guys don't have that on your device, a video link will be down in the description for that as well on how to get Ignition. So all you got to do is open up Ignition, go to the sections on the bottom, go into Jailbreaks, and then you just swipe down until you see rootless jailbreak. As you can see, it is right there. Just click on it and then click on get in the upper right and then click on install when the pop-up comes up. And that's how you're gonna install the rootless jailbreak. We can go ahead and launch it. It has been updated since the last time I did cover it. I believe it's on like 3.2.7, uh, something like that. It's an urgent update, so a lot of bug fixes and stuff like that. The jailbreak still does not um, support A7 and A8 devices. It's only A9 through A11, so also A12 is not supported. So iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 10S, 10S Max, and 10R are not supported yet, but the developer does say he's trying to bring support for those devices, and he is hard at work trying to do so. And like I said, there could be the possibility that this 
jailbreak does eventually turn into a full-fledged jailbreak that does install Cydia. It's hard to know right now, but I just wanted to keep you guys updated uh, pretty much through this entire process of a jailbreak coming out for iOS 12. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick update video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.